Hey there, viewers. I know the wintertime can make you lazy. Any healthy routine you've kept can stop in an instant, especially during a hectic year like this one. But if you've been exercising on the regular, you need to commit. Otherwise, your health will decline and fast. Here's what happens to your body when you stop working out. Does your blood pressure rise? Do you lose energy quickly? What happens to your bones? Wait, my muscles disappear? We're talking all that and more. Let's begin. Number 1. Yes, your muscles shrink. It doesn't matter how much progress you've made with your body. When you start skipping your workouts, it changes in some major ways. Take your muscles, for instance. If you've been bulking up, you need to keep going to the gym to maintain your build. When you've been taking part in a strict daily exercise schedule, your body has become used to a certain amount of activity. This includes gaining a tolerance to all the physical demands. I mean, you've been lifting weights, doing push-ups, and running. There's no way your body can go through this without adapting somehow. Now, let's say after all this work, you suddenly stop all exercise and spend your days on the couch. You start to experience a loss in muscle mass. You'll also be burning less fat. But there's more. If you've stopped exercising, you've also probably stopped eating properly. Instead of reaching for the dumbbells, you're reaching for the chip bags. These habits go hand in hand. Before you know it, your muscles will look weak and flabby. And I'm not just talking about those rock-hard biceps and triceps. You can also say goodbye to that beautiful six-pack you've been developing. That's usually the first to go. And your chest muscles? No more. Have you ever sported a six-pack? How long did it take you to get? Did you maintain it? Sound off in the comments section and start a conversation with our bestie community. Number 2. Your strength suffers. I bet you were really proud about benching 150 pounds. I mean, that's an achievement for most people. Well, if you're working your way up to 200, you can't break from the gym, not even for a month. For most people, their strength declines at a slower rate than their energy, but it'll slip way sooner than you think. Studies have shown that you can lose your strength after just about a month. For some, your ability to lift weights declines after just two weeks. All that work for nothing. This is all the more reason to get active again. Number 3. You gain weight. If you stop working out, be prepared to notice a big difference the next time you step on the scale. And I mean a difference in a bad way. Like I said, because of your lack of activity, you're not going to burn fat as quickly. Any fiber you eat won't have much to work with. And since your diet will probably get worse, the fiber you will be eating won't be very good. This doesn't just go for the average person. It even happens to your favorite sports stars. Even highly trained athletes will gain weight if they stop exercising. Studies show that their body fat increases pretty significantly after five weeks. As time goes by, your performance will suffer. If you've stopped working out, make sure that you at least eat healthy foods. This means lots of vegetables and good fruits. Anything to slow down the weight gaining process. Number 4. Your blood sugar increases. That's right, this can happen not after 5 weeks, but after 5 days. People who stop exercising will have their blood sugar go through a massive spike. When you eat, your blood glucose will start to rise, only to decrease after the meal is done. Your muscles will absorb the sugar into your tissues as you go about your daily activities. But if you haven't been active, your body sugar won't be going down as quickly. High blood sugar opens the door to a lot of bad health problems. If you are eating nothing but sugary, fatty meals, your body won't be able to respond to insulin. This is called hyperglycemia. It eventually leads to diabetes. Too much sugar in your blood will also damage your blood vessels. This means not as much blood will be pumped into the vital organs. If you don't get your health in check, you can experience a loss of vision, kidney problems, and even a stroke or heart disease. Before we continue, are you trying to get in better shape? Well, you need to change your diet. Let's talk about the 11 worst foods for your brain according to doctors. Now back to our discussion on what happens to your body when you stop working out. Number 5. You get really moody. Be honest, how do you feel after a hard workout? I mean, your body might feel tired, but at the same time, it's like you're on top of the world. A workout helps you feel refreshed and healthy. If you stop exercising, 
you're going to feel the exact opposite. Exercise suppresses chemicals in your brain that are responsible for depression. This is why you're in such a great mood after pumping iron or jogging. When you suddenly put an end to all that activity, you'll go back to feeling like garbage. You'll feel insecure about the way you look. You might even go back to your old junk food habits for comfort. As a result, your physical state suffers even more. Number 6. Your energy takes a nosedive. Not only will depression kick in after you stop exercising, you'll also feel sluggish and tired all the time. When you quit your workout routine, the amount of oxygen your body takes in will drop by 10% in just two weeks. You're going to feel winded a lot faster than you did before. Soon enough, just the act of walking too quickly up the stairs is going to feel like a task. You're going to want to do nothing more than lay down on the couch and binge Netflix. My advice is that you get back onto the workout train as quickly as you can. Number 7. Your bones weaken. This is one of the scarier things that happens after you quit your workouts. Mainly because you don't see it happening. You don't really feel it happening in the beginning either, but it will start affecting you in the long term. Lack of physical exercise will weaken your bones as you get older. It's not just your muscles that benefit from regular gym trips. Your bones need to maintain their strength as well. That's why it's so important that you lift weights. Whether it's carrying a heavy object from one place to another or doing multiple reps on your favorite exercise machine. The effects of being lazy will have an impact on your bones within just a few months. After about a year, your bones will be in trouble. Not only will they get brittle, you can also develop osteoporosis. Even if osteoporosis doesn't happen, you'll at least hurt yourself doing any kind of activity. You should probably get in your workout clothes right about now. Number 8. Your blood pressure spikes. That's right, it's not just blood sugar. Your blood pressure is a whole different bag of problems. Skipping your gym routine will cause your blood pressure to soar. It's one of the first things that the doctor will tell you when you see them. This will happen after only a couple of weeks of quitting exercise. If you're not making an effort, your blood vessels will adapt to the lack of activity. This increases your blood pressure, as your heart will be working a lot harder in order to pump blood. After about a month, the arteries and veins will stiffen and become more narrow. You'll soon experience a decline in your health. High blood pressure leads to a lot of bad things, especially if your food choices are starting to slip as well. The arteries become blocked, preventing blood from properly flowing and putting even more pressure on your heart muscle. Over time, you'll experience things like heart disease and stroke. So the best thing you can do in this situation is to get your running shoes on and go for a jog. If that's not possible, you can get back in the groove of things by practicing some simple at-work exercises. Yep, the human body is a strange thing. I mean, that's for sure. I think we should keep the conversation going, don't you? Want some motivation to stay in shape? Here are a couple more videos you might like. Check out our video on 11 quick and easy morning workouts to look lean and slim in just 30 days. Or how about the 13 best exercises for beginners to get in shape? Go ahead, click one, or better yet, click both. Find out more about how to get your health right. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Have you stopped working out for a long time? Let us know in the comment section below.